Shalom. First and foremost, we give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the Word calls God. In His name in Hebrew means He exists. And Yahweh Shah's name is only begotten Son, who the Word calls Jesus Christ. In His name in Hebrew means He delivers. By Hashem, in the name of Yahweh Shah, the Holy Spirit. We can double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of the will. Peace and blessings unto the sister I can just push forward the truth. Got the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom unto your brother. Keep pushing. And a double shalom unto the Israelites just look like the other nations and just shut right there. I want to say shalom unto your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Delwood Duff from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at another video. And we want to go over this article. Would you see uh, Shaq, you know, for brothers that watch uh, basketball, you know, he had his little skit called Shaq in the Fool. And that's what he's doing now, Shaq in the Fool. Okay, so it says Shaq explains why he thinks the earth is actually flat again. And so this was yesterday, I think. I think today is the 30th. Okay. And, and if you are a man of the Lord, that believe in how much me I shot this truth, that you would know that that's bullshit, because the Earth is a circle, okay, a globe. All right, and that being said, because the Lord He made the Earth a circle, and you know, like a revolution, like everything is a sequence, okay. So anything that's flat is just a line, okay? But the Lord made the earth to be a, a system, okay? A system of what? The seasons? You got four seasons, a system of the uh, animals. And even then, you know, as a mortal man, especially the Israelites say, we all die, okay? Like uh, in the movie Lion King, we had Mufasa talking to Simba. You're talking about the circle of life and kind, and even them. Um, because you know, you live and you die, you live, die, come back, live, die, come back, live, die, come back. Okay, but we know in the kingdom, we never gonna die because it's never gonna be no sin. We're just gonna come and just keep going and going and going and going and going. All right. So, I just want to hop into this article of poor preacher Logan's be edifying. So, it says, Shaq is back. To spouting some odd opinions, but it's not about comparing basketball players of different decades. This time he hopping back on the flat earther train. He doubled down on his earthly beliefs during an appearance on Australia's the Kyle and Jackie O show last week when he decided to explain his position to Cal Sandilands and Jackie Henderson by using his recent flight to the land down under as an example it's a theory it's just a theory they teach us a lot of things i flew 20 hours a day not once did i go this way he said gesturing his arm diagonally i flew straight he adds noting that during the flight he did he didn't tip over or go upside down all right well first off you're not going to even um feel that Okay, because there's a certain thing that's on the earth that's called gravity. Okay? <laughs> so how would you tip upside down? It says, then he moves on from the flight example and uses one of his properties back in the States to further prove his theory. You know they say the world is spinning. He poses on the radio host. I've been living on a house on the lake for 30 years, not once did the lake rotate to the left or to the right. If we're spinning so fast, why, uh, why, uh, I guess he's saying, why aren't we dizzy? So if we were spinning then, we should be dizzy, right? <laughs> but bro, you can't feel the earth spinning, okay? It's spinning, but you can't feel it spinning, my guy. And like, this is all just simple comments that this man is making. Okay, and he has no understanding of the scriptures, or you don't understand the Most High, and hey, all these Israelites, 
uh, worldly Israelites who are, you know, you Jake in the world, as into the basketball, entertainment, whatever. And he's not the only basketball player that says this type of madness, you know, because Kyrie Irving said, you know, and he talking about he a Muslim, which you know damn well he ain't no damn Muslim. All right, he an Israelite. But he he's still is not 100% in the truth because he still think the earth is flat. Okay? These beliefs aren't too far from the ideas he had back in 2017 on his very, on the big podcast with Shaq. I drove from coast to coast and the shit is flat to me, Shaq noted. I'm just saying. I drive from Florida to California all the time and it's flat to me. I do not go up and down at 360 degree angle and all that stuff about gravity. Have you looked outside Atlanta lately and seen all these buildings? You mean to tell me that China is under us? China is under us. It's not. The world is flat. Alright. <laughs> I'm all I do. Like, wh like, what does it have to do? Because you, you even got, like, different layers to the earth. All right? Like, the earth's core. Stuff like that. In which, in the kingdom, that's going to be revealed. Because uh, even Esau don't know everything. Okay? But I want to hop into some scriptures. And just uh, prove that the earth is round according to the Bible. So this is... Isaiah 40 21 Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Have it not been told you from the beginning? Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth and that inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretch out the heavens as a curtain and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. All right, so um, the foundations of the earth, okay, and sit upon the circle. All right, so the earth is a circle, and you might look at certain scriptures, like in the Bible, because you might say, yeah, like the four corners of the earth. All right, see, the earth is flat. Nigga, so you saying that the earth is a square? Okay, wrong. So let's hop. So like it. Let's hop into these scriptures. So this is Revelation. Seven and one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Right. So corners holding the four winds of the earth. That the earth should not blow. That the wind should not blow on the earth. Nor on the sea. Nor any of the tree. Right. So he'll read that and be like, yeah, see? See? Uh, four corners. See? Nah, that represents the circumference. Like in a house. Okay? Like a house. Like the four corners like a, of like a room. It represents the, um, the circumference, the area. Okay? The width. And the base. Okay? And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in our foreheads. Right now, it goes into the elect. Okay, because this truth uh, goes out throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Which basically means the circumference. Okay. To seal the elect in the foreheads of the truth. All right. So when the Lord come back and destroy this place, we're gonna be saved. So we're not gonna get caught up in these uh, wayward doctrines. We're not gonna get caught up in these uh, slutty women over here in the West or whatever. You know, trying to build a life. Or like General Johannes said, we got to build a kingdom right here in America. Okay, no. We're not building a kingdom right here in America, all right? Because the scripture says you got to come up out of this place.
Isaiah 11 and 10. And in that day there shall be a root out of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again a second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. He shall set up an incense for the nation and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah for the four corners of the earth. Right. And that's what the Lord is doing now. Gathering the elect from out of all the other nations that are upon the face of the earth. Okay. The globe. All right. Because, man, like, and even if the earth was flat, like, what does it have to do with salvation? Which we know that it's not flat. Okay, what does it have to do? She, like, you got to realize that uh, human beings are so small. Okay. Bro, like, we don't feel the curvature of the, of the earth when we go around it. Like, bro, what, like, what are you talking about? Like, you and your little, yo, um, Yo, you in that plane, your big ass in that plane or in your car or whatever you drive. I think, you, think you're too big to sit in the damn car. Whatever you drive, the big ass dually truck that you drive. But you're not going to be able to feel you going around the earth. You know, it's not no Dragon Ball Z King Kai type stuff. You can run around the planet like that. Okay. And I had the definition of compass. It says, um, stretch, reach, extend the limit or boundary of a space. The space included applied to time, space, sounds. Okay. And that's the, um, the definition I wanted to get. So, I pass in around a circular course and circuit. Right. <laughs> exactly. So compass. I like King Ka. You know, where you can just feel the earth like that. <laughs> and and look, and even then King Ka don't even feel it. Why? Because he on his own planet. Okay. Cause uh because of gravity. You're not gonna feel it. It's gonna everything will look right side up to you. Okay. First Timothy four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines the devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having a conscience seared with a hot iron. Right. So apart from the faith. Okay. Because a lot of our people nowadays, they're not even into church, a so called church, which we know that the Christian church is a false um, religion. Okay. Christian church is a false religion. Uh, Islam and the rest of the, uh, the religions. If it's not the truth of Yahweh Shemi Ashai and what the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone Porsche say, it's not the truth. Okay? Because you either you got the truth 100% or you don't. Because everything else is a knockoff version. You know, like uh, Jake, you know, you, you know, been to public school and there's always that one dude that wore fake Jordans. People talk about his ass. Hey, cause you can point that shit out. It's either you got it, it's either you, it's authentic or it's not. Okay. But that's all I had on that, and I want to say shalom.